terms of male passaggio, or passaggi, because they have two passaggios for the open vowels. The open vowels, a, e, and o, at least, there are several more, like cœur in French, which means heart, the oe vowel in the IPA, the a vowel, as in cat, and it goes on and on and on. We'll start with a, e, and o. Now, in my view, unlike voice books, my view is that the, generally these two passaggi are separated by a perfect fifth, not a perfect fourth, a perfect fifth. Perfect fifth for which vowel? The a vowel at a perfect fifth. It's different for the A and the O. And again, it's not a perfect fourth, in my view. I want you to test this out with great singers that you love, that everyone loves, to see if what I'm saying is true on important sustained pitches that require beauty in the repertoire. There are very few examples of great singers over the years that will do this, but enough of them will. For example, we'll take, um, I'll just croon it once again. We have, say, a B flat and an F for the highest baritone. Most baritones function A and E. A B flat might be close to the, the, the note I'm singing on the second pitch. Oh, oh, and a B flat. B flat, D, F would be a triad. Oh, yeah, there's that little bit of bottom that you can probably see. Enter in to the top note without me losing the mask, even though I'm just crooning it. We have a B flat, second pitch. Oh, if I spread anymore, oh, it's going to be too high in timbre there, subjectively speaking. So I make that shift at that B-flat, B-flat and F, again for the highest baritone, I'm almost a tenor, so it's a little bit of a strange occurrence. B-flat and F, to me, are those passaggio places. If I take the F open, oh, again, I only have top side position, and I'm there for a tenor all of a sudden. To me, I'm out of balance because the larynx is up, and that's an indication that I must retain some amount of depth in it in order to have that clean, clear, even colored timbre where I verticalize in shape. So B flat and F for me would be those two passaggios. 